<laughs> and now there's just one final one sir as i leave sir sorry sir um in this situation where the prices of everything is going up and doubling sir in our great nation nigeria the last option seems to be jackpa um what would you say on this sir Sh should we go or should we stay sir <laughs> <laughs> that's all right i will answer that one but that will take five minutes from your for my sermon nothing happens without god knowing about it before the foundation of the world the first explosion of the redeemed christian church of god abroad was as a result of what happened when the finance houses collapsed you will remember there was a time when there were so many finance houses and people were collecting money and they were not banks but they were called finance houses and quite a few of my boys were into it. Then the finance house sees uh, something collapse. And the uh, owners of money began to pursue those who collected money. <laughs> so many of them ran away. And when they landed where they went, they started a church. We have reached a stage in the redeemed Christian Church of God where God wants to move us to a higher level. He needs some people abroad, people who are highly educated, people who are full of the Holy Spirit, people that can go and start churches, even if they don't want to go, it will force them. But there are those who are called mixed multitude, who are going to be useless to God anywhere they go. If they go, God will see to it that they are deported. So before you japa, ask yourself, what is the purpose of my... Everybody, please say thank you, Daddy. Well, let somebody shout, Ebenezer. Like I told you on Friday night, Ebenezer means thus far you have helped us. Life is a journey. You are at a particular spot in the journey. The Almighty God has helped you thus far. And there is hope for the future. The main point I want to add today, and I hope I'll be able to say it in five to six minutes, is that God always reserves the best till the last. John chapter 2, from verse 1 to 12. John. 2, 1 to 12. You see, when Samuel was saying, Hitherto you have helped us, in 1 Samuel chapter 7, that was before David defeated Goliath. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, 
that was before Esther rescued the whole nation of Israel from extermination. You can read the book of Esther from chapter 1 to chapter 11. That was long before Daniel chapter 6. When the king had to say, I decree that anyone who do not tremble before the God of Israel shall be wiped out. So when he said, thus far you have helped us in 1 Samuel chapter 7, he didn't even know that there are bigger problems coming, but the Almighty God kept on showing up and solving the problems. So I want to assure you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your tomorrow will be great. Your tomorrow will be glorious. I can give you one or two examples very quickly. You have heard it before. Abraham was great. Isaac was very great. Jacob was exceedingly great. But Joseph rescued practically the whole world. So you just see the greatness continuing. Elijah was great. But Elisha was greater. Elisha had a double portion of the spirit of Elijah. So whether the devil likes it or not, because you are associated with the God of the redeemed Christian Church of God, your future is going to be glorious. Without any doubt, Jesus was great. <laughs> I mean, he raised somebody who had been dead for four days, dead, buried, four days. And yet he made a promise. In John chapter 14, verse 12, John 14, verse 12, he said, the works that I did, you shall do also. And greater works than these shall you do. Your parents are already great. Your spiritual parents in the redemptive center of God have done marvelously well. I think in one of the Holy Ghost services, Lake was telling you how we stopped over at an island just to rest for a few days, only to discover that the redeemed Christian Church of God was already there doing very well. I, I, I was not the one who went to start that church. Is one of your fathers. Information reached me that since the last time I visited, the number of parishes in that island nation had increased to two. But do you know you are going to do far, far better than us? Uh, 
I've come to tell you the best is yet to come. If you don't learn anything else apart from what mommy had already taught you how to eat, my best is yet to come. If you believe that, tell your neighbor. Say it one more time. When my father in the Lord was alive, anytime there was a great convention, the people would say, Oh God, this church is doing so, so well. What's going to happen now when this old man dies? And Papa will say, Hey, wait and see. You haven't seen anything yet. Today, people are already saying, Hey, look at the Dream Christian Church of God. Look at their influence all over the world. Hey, what's going to happen when the general overseer dies? Ah, uh, you haven't seen anything yet. Where I stop, that's where you begin. There's only one conclusion. How soon you begin to prosper in a family is determined by how soon you join that family. I will tell you one story, and it will be time to pray. We were looking for a house help, and they brought a small girl to us. Uh, just a little child, about five years old. Ah, my wife said, <laughs> no way. This is child labor. No, as we were not in when they brought her. Hey, let's send for these people. Come and take your child away. I told her, I said, no, ma. If we send her away, they just take her to somebody else. We will adopt the child. Let the child stay. We will continue to pay whatever they want. Let the child stay. So we adopted the child. Send the child to school. Today, the child is in the university. Her trajectory changed from the day she entered into our family. Your trajectory will change the day you enter into the family of Jesus Christ until you are born again, you don't begin to climb. That is why if you are here today and you are not sure of your salvation yet, I beg you, within the next two minutes, which I have left, come and stand in front of me here. I know some of you are outside, I know some of you are in the balcony, but you have to find your way here. This is very important. The very day you really join the family of God, that's when your trajectory will begin to move higher and higher and higher. And I'm going to count from one to ten. Before I say ten, you come and stand before me if you want genuine salvation. I'm counting now. One. Two.
Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Some people there, are they coming or are they going? Okay, now those of you already here and those of you on the way, cry to the Almighty God. Said, I want to become a member of your family. Save my soul, Lord. Forgive all my sins. I'm not joking anymore. I want to become a child of the living God. Please, Lord, save my soul today. And the rest of us, please intercede for these people. Pray for them. That the Almighty God who saved your soul will save their own souls also. Intercede for them. Intercede for them. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. And if you are coming, keep coming. Just make sure you get there before I finish praying. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ancient of this, I want to bless your holy name. I give you all glory, I give you all honor for your word. And I thank you very, very much for those who have responded, those who say, yes, we want to become members of your family. Father, please receive them, save their souls. Let them become true children of the living God. Write their names in the book of life. And from now on, let them do your will and your will alone. And please, Lord God Almighty, I pray, from now on, any time they call on you, you will answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I rejoice with those of you who have just come forward today. I promise you, from now on, by God's grace, I'll be praying for you. So I will be needing your names, your address, and your prayer requests. The counselors will attend to you in a moment. But uh, I want you to be part of the prayer we're about to pray now. Now, the rest of us, are we ready to pray? 
Stand on your feet and shout a big hallelujah. I want you to lift your voice to the Almighty God loud and clear and say, Father. Uh -huh. Make it loud and clear. Father. From now on, I will put you first. Say it loud and clear. Please, Lord, let my future be very, very glorious. Go ahead, call on the Almighty God. Your best is yet to come. The Almighty God is going to help you like never before. The promise is, from now on, O oh Lord, I will put you first. In everything I do, I will put you first. Let my future be absolutely glorious. Let me be greater than my parents. Oh, yes. Answer the prayer of the general overseer for me. He said, I will be greater than him. Lord, bring that to pass. I will put you first, oh Lord. I will put you first. Hi, Precious Sense. God bless you. You're welcome to RCCG NCP TV. And with our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, we bring to you the word of the Lord. We bring to you intriguing testimonies. We bring to you the wonders of the Lord. We bring to you the miracles. The wonders of the Lord, the acts of God, the doings of God. We bring to you what God has spoken over your life. The word of God, his perfect counsel over your life. We bring to you words from the throne of grace that will stir up your feet and that will push you into becoming the fullness of the measure of the stature of God. Don't give up on God because God is still writing on your matter. God is not done with you yet. And so we encourage you to stay tuned with the Lord and ensure that everything he has promised you comes to pass. Engage them by prayer, stir up your faith, boost up that spirit of yours that is weary and ensure that in well-doing you don't become weary. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so as to stay in touch with everything God has for you, by the mouth of his servant, our father, Daddy E.A. Adeboye. God bless you so much.